Hey everyone, Professor Baldwin here, and today we have a word problem. This is a really common word problem where you have a baseball. This baseball is hit into the air and its height, h, in feet after t seconds is given by this function, h of t. Part A asks, what is the height of the baseball when it's hit? Well, it wants to know the height at the time that it's hit. The time that the ball is hit is going to be time zero. So we're going to calculate h of zero, the height at time zero. And to do that, we substitute in zero wherever there's a t. Now notice this first term, we have zero squared, which is zero, and anything times zero is just zero. And the second term is also times zero, so that stays as zero, and the last term is two. So zero plus zero plus two is two. Well, it wants to know the height, and how do we measure height? For this problem, height, h, is in feet. So our final answer is going to be two feet. Now, part B is asking, after how many seconds does the baseball reach its maximum height? Remember, whenever you see the word maximum, it tells you that you need to find the vertex. Now, remember that the vertex is a point, x, y. Well, here we're not using the variables x and y. We have h and t. Well, x is always the variable that is your input. And here our input is time, t. And y is your output, and for us, that's h. So after how many seconds, that's time. So we're trying to find the x value of our vertex. And to find the x value, you use negative b over 2a. And remember, the a and the b come from that standard form for a quadratic, where it's ax squared plus bx plus c. Here, a is equal to negative 16, and b is 64, and c would be 2. So we're going to substitute these values in to find our value of x. So negative b would be negative 64 over 2 times a, which is negative 16. That simplifies to negative 64 over negative 32, which then simplifies to 2. To what? Again, we're talking about time, and it says in the question, how many seconds? So this is going to be 2 seconds. So 2 seconds after that baseball is hit, it hits that maximum height. And look at what part C is asking. Part C wants us to determine the maximum height of the baseball. Again, maximum tells us we have a vertex. And height, if we look back at what our vertex is going to be, the height is our y value. So y equals f of 2. We substitute in the x value of our vertex in order to find the y. So we substitute that 2 back into that given function, and we have negative 16 times 2 squared plus 64 times 2 plus 2. This equals negative 16 times 4 plus 128 plus 2 or negative 64 plus 130, and that simplifies to 66. 66 what? Well, we're asked to find the height, and we know that height for this problem is measured in feet, so this is 66 feet. So two seconds after the baseball is hit, it reaches the maximum height, which is 66 feet all found using that vertex formula.